Hey guys, this is The Real Quaid here. I'm coming at you with a gym leader challenge video. Uh, if you're curious what this is all about, I put a little bit in the description below, as well as a link to the subreddit where all this is happening, so I'll kind of spare you the details. You can read up on it. Suffice to say that this is a gym leader themed tournament. Um, I am the poison gym leader in this case. I'm facing the dark gym leader, uh, Chocolate Bowtie. Basically a team of five Pokemon of a single type plus one of any type of your choosing, basically a wild card Pokemon. And uh, just to stop boring you with the details, we'll get right into the video. So to start off here, we both have Zoroark, um, as you saw in the preview. I'm expecting a Zoroark on Zoroark in the lead position matchup. Um, so at this point, I have no idea what moveset he has. Zoro can run, you know, a physical set, a special set. All I know is I got to go first, and his entire team is weak to Focus Blast, so there's no reason for me not to use that. Um, I hit his Lucario pretty well. He's got a Sash, unfortunately. Turns out, of course, it was the Zoroark, which you'll see here momentarily. Um, so, kind of going as I expected so far. Um, I thought about using Flamethrower just because if it was Lucario, he'd be weak to it, and I'd get that accuracy. But my Zoroark has choice specs, so if at all possible, I wanted to keep him in and basically sweep his entire team using that one move, which um, could have been possible. Like I said, his team is weak to it. My Zoroark is very strong. He's got a mild nature with the specs. He hits pretty hard. So that's one down in my favor. He sends out his real Lucario this time, uh, and I'm expecting some kind of priority move. He's got good fighting moves, so I'm not going to risk losing my Zoroark this early. I switched to Muck to tank the hit. He comes at me with a close combat, and Muck is designed to just take big hits. I wasn't sure exactly how it would work, because I'd never used a Muck like this before. I always like, you know, the tank Pokemon, but I'm never sure just how tanky they are, they are until I actually get them into battle here. And this is the first time I've used a Muck of any kind at any sort of competitive level. So he, I thought he was going to switch, but he comes at me with a Stone Edge. So I went to stockpile on the switch, hopefully to tank a hit of something else that was coming at me. Um, and you saw the Stone Edge didn't do very much. It's going to do even less now that I got that defense bonus. But if he does come at me with more Stone Edges, I'm going to need to try to stop that because if it crits, it goes past my defense bonuses. So again, he comes at me with Stone Edge. I'm going to counter that with a Brick Break. Wasn't sure if I'd kill him. He lost some defense on the close combat. Ends up not taking him fully down. Pretty close, but not enough. Luckily, barring a crit from another um, Stone Edge, I'll survive long enough to take down Lucario and put myself in advantage. He decides to go to Crunch. I'm not sure why. Possibly the accuracy. Possibly to get a defense drop. Managed to finish off his Lucario with a second Brick Break, as expected. So things are going pretty well so far. I'm up 2 to nothing right now. My Muck and my uh, Zoroark are a little weakened, but that, I thought it ended up working out really well because the two of them have very similar hit points. So if I switch Muck, because what I ended up doing when I saw the Crocodile, I needed to switch to Crobat, fearing an Earthquake. Um, and sure enough, there's the Earthquake. Crobat's immune, it's perfect, and Muck right now is my last Pokemon, so if I do send out Zoroark, it will actually look like Muck because of his HP totals. He comes at me with Weavile, which is what I expected. Um, Weavile I was a little afraid of for Crobat. Um, I managed to get a Super Fang on him. And now this is the point where the match pretty much breaks. I make a single mistake. I thought I was faster than Weavile. I didn't max my speed on Crobat. I put some... My Crobat's a very strange tank Crobat. So I figured he'd, he'd either hit me with an Ice Shard, which I'd be able to survive, or I would just outspeed him and beat him down with Brave Bird and just finish him right there. So unfortunately my Crobat is now finished. Uh, I send in my Drapion, uh, just because Weavile can't do much to him. I figured I'd be able to one-shot him with Cross Poison. Um, of course, he survived with a minuscule amount of HP, which in the long run doesn't really matter. Um, you'll see why here in a second. At this, um, the match is really already decided at this point. Uh, losing my Crobat that early pretty much ruined the game for me. I was doing very well. If I'd have had my Crobat with me, I probably would have ended up winning this match. But he sends out his Crocodile again, and I decide I'm just going to let Drapion die, because Drap his remaining Pokemon Drapion isn't really strong against. So I'm going to let him take the hit. Drapion is finished, of course. 
and uh, the Krugerdile is going to get a Moxie bonus, which is unfortunate, but there's not much I can do about that. So at this point, um, I do send out my Zoroark thinking, alright, I'll just Focus Blast him and finish this. I did not realize he had a Choice Scarf, so at this point, his super effective plus one Earthquake is now ravaging my entire team, and there's literally nothing I can do about it. Um, like I said, if I had my Crobat, I'd be able to put him in check and force a switch and do all that stuff, but not expecting the Choice Scarf, there's nothing I can do. He's going to one-shot the rest of my team. And so that one mistake ended up costing me the entire match, even though I was at a pretty favorable... I was at a, I had him 3-0 at that point. Um, his Umbreon that he had remaining was going to get mauled by my Toxicroak, if that were to ever happen, um, just because I was protecting him there. If I would have been able to have my Nidoking out, if I... His uh, Crocodile, his other Pokemon, was a Hydreigon. So my Nidoking would have been able to fire really powerful Ice Beams at him. If not, my Toxicroak could hit them both with an Ice Punch or a Focus Punch and do some real damage to them. But at this point, it's over. I have nobody that can outspeed him. Um, probably even my Crobat would have been outsped by the Choice Scarf here, but not much I can do about that. Um, so it just goes to show you, uh, no matter how much of an advantage you have, you know, during a match, you can all swing back the other direction very quickly. So he's going to finish the job with an Earthquake. Uh, good game to Chocolate Bowtie. If you guys are interested, we're kind of starting a Pokemon League. There's 17 of us gym leaders, one for each type. You basically submit a team of eight Pokemon that you use throughout your entire process. You choose six of them or four, depending on what the gym leader's preferences are. Um, and then after that, you can basically challenge all of us, try to get all 17 badges. There's an Elite Four mechanic that I won't get into at this point. But it's, it's sort of a way for competitive Pokemon enthusiasts to get together and share their experiences. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see more of you later.